Our story today is called Joseph Was Betrayed. Jacob had 12 sons, but Jacob loved one of these sons, Joseph, the most. More than he loved his other sons, Jacob made Joseph a special robe of many colors to show his love for Joseph. But Joseph's brothers were upset. They knew that Jacob loved Joseph the most, so they hated Joseph. So why did Joseph's brothers hate him? Yeah, because he thought their dad loved Joseph the most. One night, Joseph had a dream that the sun, moon, and stars bowed down before him. This dream made the brothers even more jealous of Jacob. One day, Jacob sent Joseph to see if his brothers were doing a good job watching the flocks. Joseph's brothers saw him coming. They made a plan. They wanted to throw Joseph down in a pit. One of the brothers, Reuben, told the other brothers not to kill Joseph. Let's throw him in the pit, but not hurt him. Reuben had a plan to come back later and rescue Joseph. The brothers grabbed Joseph. They stole his special coat and tossed him into the pit. As the brothers sat and ate, a group of traders came by. Judah suggested that they sell Joseph. The traders took Joseph to Egypt, and the brothers left their father to think that Joseph was dead. So what did the brothers do to Joseph? Yeah, they decided to trade him and let their father think that he had died. In Egypt, Joseph worked. One day, someone told a lie about Joseph, and Joseph was thrown into prison. Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants in the prison, the cupboard and the baker. So do you know who the Pharaoh is? Yeah, he's like the king. He's the man in charge of Egypt. Both of the men had dreams, and God helped Joseph tell the men what their dreams meant. But when the cupbearer left prison and started his job again, he forgot about Joseph. Even though Joseph was in prison, God was still with Joseph. What did, jo what did Jacob give Joseph to show that he loved him more than all of his other sons? Yeah, he gave him a coat of many colors. What did Joseph tell his brothers from his dream that made them so angry? Yeah, he told them that the sun, the moon, and the stars would bow down to Joseph, showing that Joseph would one day rule over all of them. Do you think that's going to come true? We're going to have to find out next week if that is or not. What was the name of the brother that did not want to kill Joseph? Yeah, his name was Reuben. Instead of killing Joseph, what did the brothers decide to do? Yeah, they wanted to sell him to some traders traveling to Egypt. Joseph had gained favor with his boss. Then he was lied about and thrown into prison. In prison, he helped a baker and a cupbearer understand their dreams. Do you know what a cupbearer is? Yeah, it's an officer in the royal, royal courts whose job was to serve drinks at the royal table. Joseph asked to be remembered by the cupbearer when he received his job back, but the cupbearer forgot all about his promise, so Jacob had to stay in prison. So God is always with us. Even though, Jacob, even though Joseph was in prison, God was still with him. After hearing about Joseph's life, it would be easy to think that God had forgotten about Joseph. But we see that God was with Joseph even through difficult things that he faced. God didn't forget about Joseph even for one tiny second. God was going to use all of these bad things Joseph had experienced to create something good for Joseph and his family. But we will learn about, more about that next week. So we're going to be reading our memory verse again that we have for this month, which says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not rely on your own understanding. In all your ways know him and he will make your path straight. This is from Proverbs 3, 5 through 6. So what are some ways that we can know God better? We could read his word, which is a Bible. We could pray, we could memorize Bible verses, and we can come to church. The more that we know God, the more we will want to stay on his path that leads to him by talking to him and reading his word. Okay, so that was our story, and now we're going to do our craft. So for our craft today, we are going to make Joseph and his coat of many colors. Okay, to start off with, you're going to need one brown paper sack. Next, if you have two googly eyes, what you can do is that you can glue it onto the top of your paper sack. If you do not have googly eyes, it's okay. You can always just draw them on there. Okay, so once you have your googly eyes glued on or you have drawn on some eyes, what you can do next is you can take some construction paper and cut out boxes to put 
on your Joseph. It can be all different colors, or you can take a white piece of construction paper and then just color it and then cut out some boxes that you can put on your Joseph. Once you have them all glued on, it should look a little something like this. And then you can sneak your hand in and make them talk to people. <laughs> and okay, so that was our craft. And that was our story earlier. So thank you so much for watching and have a great Sunday.